What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install easily the Troll Store 2 on iOS 14 all the way up to iOS 17.0 beta 1 through beta 4. Now I'm going to use the new Troll Installer X for this, which is much easier than any other method you've seen so far. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to repair your device. If it's no longer booting, it's stuck in a black screen, reboot loop or Apple logo. You can also enter recovery mode and exit recovery mode on iOS. So definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So a couple of days ago we got Troll Store 2 installer which is Troll Installer X for iOS 14 to 17.0 beta. And this one is a unified application that allows you to install Troll Store on any compatible device. You no longer have to use like Troll Misaka or Troll Star or Picasso or any other application like that depending on iOS version. You can use this application on any supported device. And I'm going to show you how to use it in this video. Now I do have have a full written guide over here so if you want to check it out you can definitely do so in the links below and this one explains exactly what you need to do in simple steps if you don't want to watch the video but in this video I'm going to show you exactly the steps from this article so first of all you can click the download button over here it will take you to github to this project troll installer x which is the open source version of the project but you also have the releases over here for this project and the version 1.0.2 seems to be the latest at the moment adding full support for iOS 17.0 beta 1 through beta 4 on ARM64 devices. For newer devices like ARM64e, support will be added soon, but it's not available at the moment. So you have to just download the IPA file over here. You tap on it and it will give you the IPA. And you can sideload it with your favorite tool. I use sideloadly for that, but you can use like alt store or anything. I'm not going to go through that process because it's a simple sideloading like any other application. Once you trust the uh, Apple ID in settings, you should be able to go ahead and just open the application like this. You can see it's Troll Installer X on iOS 14.0 to 16.6.1 in this case because this one is an ARM64e device. Here on settings you just have verbose log which I will enable because if you do get an error it tells you exactly where the error is. Now this one uses some very interesting components in the background. It fetches the kernel, it does some nice pathfinding and it's actually quite great. So all you have to do is to press install and that's it. It's going to use the exploit in the background. It's going to download the kernel from Apple. And once it does that, it's going to use the appropriate exploit for your device. And you should be able to see this the persistence helper option. This one essentially asks you where do you want to put Troll Store persistence helper, which allows Troll Store to continue to work even after a reboot. Usually I choose an application that I don't use from the stock ones, like either books or podcasts or tips. Tips is one of the most used, but you can use any of these in here. I'm going to go with tips this time. All right, so after a couple of tries, which it can take a couple of tries to install the persistence helper, we now do have Troll Store installed and it did spring. In some cases it may actually fail to install Troll Store or the Persistence Helper, in which case you just have to reboot the device and try again. In my case it finally did it, it finally managed to install the Persistence Helper and I can go here to Tips and it should contain, as you can see, the Troll Store Helper instead of the Tips application. Now you just have to open the Tips application or the application that you selected and press Install Troll Store over here. This will install proper Troll Store and after this, every time you reboot the device, you should still be able to have Troll Store installed. As you can see, we have it in here. So that's how you install Troll Store with this application. It's pretty easy to use. Sometimes the exploit might fail depending on the device you have. You can just reboot the phone and try again. I do have a complete guide over here detailing each step, so definitely check it out below. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Peace out.